<sighs> I just shut my foot in the door. Opening day. That was on May 15th here in Alberta. I got my boat out with Justin. We went out fishing. We caught some fish. But to start the day off, I had to boost my boat battery because apparently it died. I had started it. It was running perfectly fine. There's always something with me, I swear. I forgot to charge the battery. This is what we call redneck engineering. Yes, sir. So I charged it up and got on the water. No, no real big deal, but just a pain. Like, why does this happen to me? Why am I having such bad luck with batteries? <laughs> Anyways, so we started the day off. We went straight across the lake. We ripped in our lawn chairs because my boat doesn't have seats anymore. Hasn't for a while. Pretty cringy, but it's nice to have space. Anyways, uh, yeah, we went out, caught some fish. Justin caught two fish right in the morning, caught a pike. He didn't quite land it. He touched the leader though, so I'm gonna count it as a fish caught. And then he later on caught a walleye shortly after, same area. Just casting a little jig and a grub, bouncing it off bottom. It was pretty good. We didn't catch really much for the first while in the morning. It started snowing on us. It was pretty cold that day. So, yeah, we we fished for a while, fished for a while, had no luck. And then we decided, hey, let's start trolling. So we started trolling and pretty much immediately I caught a half decent walleye, which I was pretty stoked about. It wasn't quite the slot size that we needed to keep because we can now keep fish here in Alberta. Hell yeah. But it was too big, just slightly. I think it was like an two centimeters too big. But that's okay. We kept fishing, trolling. I was trolling, kind of trolled around a bend, and boom, caught the first nice fish of the day. It was a 30 inch pike. Um, pretty happy about it. I found these fish were hanging out really, really, really shallow, like really close to the edge. What we had to do is we came from the deep and pulled ourselves right into the shallow water so our hooks would swing right in there and uh, that's how we got them like all the big fish that we caught throughout the day that's how we did it the walleye were a little bit deeper but whatever so yeah we just kept trolling kept doing that I caught two more pike 38 inches and a 39 inch I really wanted that 40 but I guess it wasn't happening for me so yeah, after we caught those two de decent fish, we went to shore, had a little bit of a lunch. It was eggs and Cheetos. It was delicious, because our plan was to have walleye, but didn't catch any keeper walleye in the morning. So we had lunch, took a nap, relaxed for a little bit. Got back out on the water, battery died again, I boosted it, no big deal. It just happens to me whenever I go fishing with Justin, I guess. And we ripped across the lake again. And this was the point that I was actually going to start recording a video because we had such a good morning. I was like, you know what, it's time. We're going to start a video. But, I mean, the video didn't turn out great, so I feel like this style is better. And I'm just going to edit this clip just as I would to a normal video. It's opening day. I'm out here with Justin. Thank you for recording, Justin. <sighs> Justin taught me that one. But my morning has been eventful. It started off with uh, a dead battery in my boat. And then we went trolling for a bit. Justin caught a pike on the jig. And then he caught a walleye on the jig. And then we didn't really have anything for a while. We tried some different areas. And then I decided to troll a Rapala Husky Jerk baby bass. Got a fish. It's a pike. No, it's a walleye.
Oh, there's another fish there. Get in there, Justin. That might be the keeper. Yeah, it might be. Uh, it might be too big as well. It's hard to say. Was that a walleye that was chasing it? Yeah. It was smaller. <sighs> was it? Yeah. That hook is barely in its mouth. It's a nice walleye. Mm -hmm. Nice little walleye. Okay, we'll measure them. Oh, it's a oh, all over my boat. <laughs> all over my boat. At least it's not on me today. So Zach found a nice male. Yep. And it had some fun with his boat. First the rainbow on Monday. And now the walleye. And what are we gonna do to the walleye in revenge? Bonk it. Dinner. Your lunch, buddy. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that walleye. Now it's gonna be dinner. We're gonna do a catch clean cook with this video. We're not doing a catch clean cook. I lied. Well, we sort of did. We kept fishing, we kept fishing, we we're trolling, we we're casting. I think Justin caught a pike. Oh, I caught a hog pike. It was huge. We were trolling. And uh, here's the footage of that. It just got really heavy. <laughs> it got really heavy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, no, I called a really small pike big. I think I did snag him though, so that's that's an excuse. That's a good enough excuse for calling a small fish big. Right? Yeah, we'll, we'll just say that. So I called that small fish big. Justin and I kept trolling. He actually, he caught his keeper walleye too. He caught, we limited on walleye this day. So pretty stoked because we can only keep one per person, which I mean, isn't too bad. It's better than zero, better than tags. Justin has a keeper. And we are at limit. Limited on the walleye. Nice. First cast with that lure too. It's because he donated to food banks? Yeah, fishing for food banks by Led Tom Len Thompson. First cast, opening day. Sick hook. Thanks Len Thompson and thanks Len Thompson for donating to the food banks. After Justin caught that walleye, we didn't have any luck for the rest of the day. We trolled around, we cast around, we tried so many different areas. We just couldn't get on to them in the afternoon, which was really bizarre. And so we just called it a day, headed back to shore. We filleted the fish and we decided to have a little fish fry on the tailgate before we headed home. Uh, oh, excuse me. That was my opening day. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's not conventional to my typical fishing videos. I have a lot of videos where I start recording, stop recording midway through and sort of get footage in between. I could make a lot more videos like this because I do this a lot. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a thumbs up, comment, and you know what to do, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the water next time. Peace.